Afternoon Live with Simon McCoy, weekdays at 2pm on the BBC News Channel. Hello, you're with Business Live from BBC News with Sally Bundock and Ben Thompson. Former Nissan boss Carlos Ghosn says he's been wrongly accused at his first court appearance since his shock arrest on charges of financial misconduct. We're live, we're in London. That's our top story today, Tuesday the 8th of January. the auto industry titan Carlos Ghosn, who turned around the Asian car maker, managed to salvage his own reputation. We'll have the latest on that case. Also in the program, the world's biggest smartphone maker, Samsung, is warning operating profits at the end of last year plunged by a third. That's the first quarterly profit drop for the company in two years. Competition from China is biting. But markets still unperturbed. Yes, it's a set of green arrows again. That's two days in a row. We'll talk you through the continued positive sentiment. And we'll also get the inside track on leaving an Olympic legacy. They cost millions of dollars to build, but with many sporting facilities abandoned at the end of the Games, we'll look at how one firm is keeping the Olympic flame alive in East London. And today, as Britain's health service says millions of patients will be able to use Skype to have a hospital appointment, it'll save billions of pounds a year. So we want to know, would you swap the doctor's surgery for an online appointment with your GP? Let us know. Use the hashtag BBC Biz Live. A very warm welcome to the programme. Yes, when it comes to healthcare, do you need the human touch? Do get in touch. Tell us what you think and we'll share your opinions a little later. But let's begin with Carlos Goen, who says he has been wrongly accused and unfairly detained. The former Nissan boss appeared in court in Tokyo today in handcuffs, his first appearance since he was arrested in November, which at the time shocked.